Hi there, and welcome to the MP Stacks plugin. I'm going to show you how to make your first stack. So let's take a look at one that I've completed already here. And you can see that I've got one with a few bricks. There's one with this wooden table in the background, phone on the right, text on the left. Beneath that, there's another brick with a green background and a quote. And then another brick beneath that with video on the left, text on the right, laptop in the background, and then a full width and centered brick with text and a video over top of each other. A couple more text only bricks beneath that. Uh, just to note, I'm going to be using the Knapstack theme, which is a free theme from movepluggins.com. And it's good for MP Stacks because it's a full wit theme, but MP Stacks will work with any theme. So just to note that for this tutorial. So let's go back to our WordPress and I'm going to go to pages, add new. And I'm going to call this page, my stack page. And then I'm going to click on this add stack button. And then we're going to give our stack a brand new name. So let's call this my first stack and then click make a new stack. So our stack was successfully created and it put it into this drop down menu here. And I'm going to select that one and then click on insert stack. So now it's put the stack on my page. Now, because we're using the Knapstack theme, over here under page attributes, you'll see that we have a few page templates. If you're using another theme that doesn't have a stack template, you may want to use the full width, but I'm going to use the one called stack. And then I'm going to publish this page. So now let's view the page. We can click on this view page button, and you're going to see that we have a page here with a stack with no bricks in it, which is this area that's kind of reddish pink and it says no bricks are currently in this stack. That makes sense because we just made this stack. So let's click on this add a brick to this stack button. And that's going to open up a dialog box with a bunch of info about this brick. So what we're going to do is give our brick a title so that we can reference it later. So I'm going to say that this is the first brick in my first stack. So now let's give our brick a background color. So let's scroll down over here on the right hand side under brick background settings and we'll scroll down to where it says background color and then we just pick the color that we want. So for now let's go with like a orange and we'll set that and then we'll scroll up and we'll update this brick. And what that's going to do is it's going to close the dialog box and refresh the page that we're on. So you can see that our brick is this orange stripe and it's very short right now. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit higher, add some height to it. So let's click on edit this brick in the top left, which opens the dialog for this brick again. And we'll scroll all the way back down to where it says brick size settings. Now let's set a minimum height of about 450 pixels. Scroll back up, hit update and it's going to refresh the page for us. Now you can see that our brick is a little bit more sized the way that we want it to. So we've set our minimum height to be 450 pixels. And if we go back over here, that's roughly about the same size. Let's go ahead and set a background image instead of just a background color. So let's go back to our new brick here and we'll go to edit this brick, open our dialog box and scroll down to where it says background image. So let's click upload. And then I'm going to select the image that I want to use, it could be anything, and then I'm going to click use item. We'll scroll back up and hit update to see how it looks. So now you can see that it's loaded this image into the background of our brick. So now let's go ahead and add the foreground content types. So if we go back over to our pre-made stack, you can see over here we've got some text on the left and an image on the right. So let's go back to our new brick and we'll click edit this brick. And over here where it says bricks content types, you'll notice that this brick has two content types. Let's set the first one to be text. And you'll see that the controls for the text just popped up down below here. So we'll deal with that in a second. And then we'll set our second content type to be an image. So let's set that. And if we scroll down, we'll see that it's also added an image control area. So let's go back up here now to where it says alignment. We want our content types to be aligned with the first one on the left and the second one on the right. So that's text on the left, image on the right. So let's go to alignment, left, right, and we'll select that. Now we'll scroll down and set the settings for our text content type. So the first thing that we want to do is set the color of this text. So let's make it white and that'll make this text white. 
and we want our font size to be about 40 pixels if we're copying this one over here because this text here build amazing pages without coding is about 40 pixels so let's set that and we'll make it 40 pixels and then we're gonna say this is my first brick and then we'll scroll down for the description which is gonna be slightly smaller and we'll set the color to again be white and we'll set the text size to be 19 pixels because that over here in our sample one is about the size of this description text underneath is about 19 pixels so let's go back and make sure yeah we'll set that to be 19 and then here we'll write a description so here's a description of this brick now let's go up and publish this to see what this has done to this brick so let's preview it and there you go, you've got your text on the left hand side with the first text area one here and text area two here. So that's our first content type on the left hand side. Now let's go ahead and add our second content type which is an image on the right. So let's click on edit this brick and we'll scroll down to the controls for our image and we're gonna click upload under main image. And then I'm gonna select an image and I'm gonna click use item. So now that we've added our image, let's update it and see how it looks. And there you go. Now we've got our text on the left, our image on the right, and we've got our background image. Now, the size of this image has actually pushed the height of this brick to be higher than what it was. You'll notice it's a bit higher. So let's go ahead and set a maximum height for this image so that it doesn't push down on what's within it. And then we're gonna scroll down to the image content type control area, and we're gonna set our max image height to be the same as the minimum height as our brick so that the image does not push the brick to be any bigger than what we want it to be. So let's set it to be 450 as well. And we'll scroll back up and update. So now our brick is back at 450 pixels, which is the same as the first brick in our preview stack. So let's go back to the one that we're working on here. And the only thing that's bothering me right now about this is that there's a gap underneath this phone and I want this phone to touch the edge. Now there's a default border for images of 10 pixels. So let's go ahead and remove that. We'll click on edit this brick and we'll scroll down and we're gonna say content types area min height above below default of 10 let's set that to be zero so there will be no area above or below the content types and we'll scroll up and click update and you can see that there is now no space below this image it's touching right to the edge now the reason why it isn't touching on the top is because there's actually blank space in this image when I saved this image I left blank space on top of it this image is touching the top there's just no space here so we've created our first brick and it looks pretty good so now let's go ahead and add a new brick and over here on the right hand side at the bottom if you roll over this you can see it says add brick after so let's click on that and this is going to make us a brand new brick so let's call this this is my second brick and again let's set a background color let's set it to be green and we'll set a minimum height of 450 pixels because we want it to match keep the same kind of feel going for our bricks and we'll scroll up and click publish so we've made our second brick below here, which is this green box. Let's roll over this brick and click edit this brick. Now, what did we want to have on the left hand side if we go to our preview? Well, we were going to make this into a quote area. So actually we want it to be quite a bit shorter. So rather than being at 450 pixels, let's make this 100 pixels. We really only want one content type. So let's set the first one to be text and the second one to be none. We also want this text to be centered across the entire brick. We don't want something on the left and the right. We want this right in the middle. So let's click on centered for alignment and we'll scroll down and we'll set our text color to be white. We'll set our text size to be about 60 pixels because we want this to be a bit bigger. And then we'll write our quote. This is a quote written by me. Because we only want one line, we don't even have to fill in text area too. So we'll leave that blank, scroll up and click update. So now we have our second brick with a quote in it. Now I would say that this text is actually a little bit too big for my liking. So I'm gonna click on edit this brick and I'm gonna scroll down 
and I'm going to reduce the text size to about 40 pixels. Now that's getting a bit better, but I want there to be a little bit more space above and below. So let's go to edit this brick and we'll set our min height above and below to be 30 pixels, 30 pixels on top and 30 pixels on the bottom. So let's click on update and you can see that it's added the 30 on top and the 30 below. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add another brick below this one. And if we're going back and we're copying our pre-made stack, the next brick has a video on the left and text on the right with a background image. So let's go ahead and make that all in one shot. So let's say this is the third brick. The first content type was text and we want the second content type to be a video. And we want the alignment of this one to be left right. So we scroll down now and we'll put in our text and we'll make our text color white again. We'll make our text size 40 and we'll say this is the title of my video. And then we'll do a little bit of a description underneath that. So we'll set the text to be white, we'll set the size to be 19, and we'll say this is the description of my video. And we'll scroll down a little bit further to the video content type control area, and we'll paste in a video URL from either YouTube or Vimeo or something else. For this I'm going to use one of my friend's Vimeo's account. So I'm going to his video and I'm going to click share, and then I'm just going to copy the link to the Vimeo video. I'm going to go back to our brick control and paste in the link to his video. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and set a minimum height for this brick to be 450 pixels. Let's say that the minimum area we want above and below is 30, 30 on top and 30 below. And we're going to set our background image as well. So I have a background image here. And I'm going to click use item. And I'm going to set it to fill the area. So I'm going to scroll up and click publish. And now you can see we've added our brick below our quote brick and we've got our text on the left and our video on the right. But actually with this image I think that the video is going to look better on the left and the text is going to look better on the right. So let's just flip them. Let's go to edit this brick and in the first content type let's change that to video so that's on the left and in the second let's change that to text so that text is on the right and we'll click update. So now we've got our video on the left and our text on the right. So now let's go ahead and make this big in our preview stack. Let's go ahead and make this big full width and centered brick. So let's go ahead back to our current stack that we're working on our first stack and underneath this one we're gonna click add new brick after and we'll call this one full width and centered. And our first content type is going to be text because we want text above the video. And our second content type is going to be a video. And we want this brick aligned centered, which means that our text is going to be on the top and our video is going to be underneath. Both will be centered in the middle of the brick. So now let's scroll down to our text and we'll say this is a full width centered brick. Let's set our text color to be green and our text size to be 40 pixels. Scroll down a little bit further and let's say that we want our description area of our text to be a slightly lighter shade of green. So let's select green and then we'll just move it up a little bit so it's a little bit lighter. And we'll set the size of this text to be 19 pixels. And in here we're going to say this is a description of my video. Now let's scroll down to the video control area and let's paste in our video link again. So I'm going to copy this video link from Vimeo. I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste in the URL. And then I'm going to go up to the top and publish this brick. It's going to be a white background because we never gave it a background color or an image. So it's just going to default. And now you can see that we've made this brick, which is full width and centered. And the video stretches to fill the full area. So let's say that we didn't want the video to fill up this much space. How could we reduce that? Well, let's go to edit this brick and we'll scroll down to the video control area and we'll say maximum video width that we want. Let's make it 500 and that will reduce the size of that video so that it only grows to be 500 pixels. Now our video is only 500 pixels rather than stretching to the full width of the brick. 
So what if we wanted our entire brick to be more narrow? Let's go to click edit this brick and let's set the content type area max width to be 500 as well. And this is gonna make our text constrained to that same width as that video. We'll scroll up, click update. And now our brick is only gonna be able to grow to 500 pixels. The content types are only gonna be able to grow to be 500 pixels wide. But you get the general idea of how you can control the width of a brick there, how you can control the text size, the text color, and the content types to be an image or a video. So there you go, you've made your first stack. So go ahead and have fun and make your website completely original.